Uh, I thought I'm going to make a badass slam truck. It's going to look so cool. And I ended up with this carbon monstrosity. They don't have as many options as I would like for these classic cars, and you can do some cool shit with these. Maybe they should have got the Ford. <laughs> You know, the, the, there's a cool disc, okay is Chevrolet pickup, and then there's all of these cool pickups you could have gotten, and they just got this one, and thought that'll do, and it's like, what about that F100 that looks super sick when you slam it out? Well, because then you'd have to actually put work into the aftermarket mods as well. Oh, look, it's called a wooden base and everything, it looks fucking dumb. And when, when I NOS in a straight line, it may actually be faster off-road than my WRX. Oh no, but it goes around the corner like a truck. <laughs> Fear the Truckosaurus. Oh shit. If I just like use NOS like an inhaler, like... You, it's like this old wheezy man who's only keeping up with the race by constantly snorting crack. It's like, wait, wait, oh! <laughs> it's just like, that's the only way I can keep up with the rest of these cars. It's like, oh, 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 just give me around this corner, give me around this corner, that I can have a little more of a boost. It's like, oh, oh! <laughs> Oh, just, oh yeah, just smash this out of the way. So I don't play online because everyone would murder me. Be thankful I'm aware that I'm a shit driver and don't just curse the online with my bullshit. I can't handle this truck. I could just spiel out off the top of my head a list of trucks, cars, off-roaders. Oh, th sorry, short interim there as I try and stop my cat from jumping from the highest point in my house to the floor. Because I have a six foot tall punching bag that's like got a floor base and he will climb on the furniture then jump to the top of it and get stuck like red pandas who get to the stop top of a tree and go ah oh, I'm too high help me and he always does it mid recording super annoying <laughs> spilling off a list of just off the top of my head trucks and cars you probably want to do if you're going to do this kind of game with off road stuff again you probably want the Chevrolet Silverado. Some kind of Dodge Ram would be nice, but let's be real, they probably wouldn't fare well off-road. Uh, any type of Jeep would be fucking good. Like, you know, this. oh yeah, what's a Jeep? Can't get the license for that. Like, gonna do off-road, you can't just ignore that. Like, you can at least get an old Grand Cherokee or like, you know, if you can't get that, like a Toyota Hilux or Surf would have been good, you know, like and get some range in there. <laughs> I hate it when games do this as an afterthought and then go, there's a Cadillac Escalade or the modern equivalent, the Ford Bronco. Uh, uh, here's like a Hummer H2 or the modern equivalent, like a Lamborghini Urus or something hideous like that. And uh, here's a Defender. That should be enough. Welcome to our tacked on shitty afterthought content and you're just like, you need to put more work into this. I know a lot of your fans, your casual gamer fans, might not look at it, but then don't put it in at all and then spend that time finishing the story mode <laughs> or balancing the game. Because, <laughs> you know, everything is unbalanced and shitty. The AI in this section is shitty and they will always drive faster than you. That's my belief. Uh, 